All right, uh, good afternoon, guys. Um, here's a bust I finished up for uh, one of the guys. Uh, it's a, a Wolverine done by Formation Designs. Uh, my client asked if I could convert the brown and yellow costume to the stealth Wolverine costume, which is more of a dark gray and light gray, and then he has like red lenses over his eyes. So just do a quick spin around here. Did a uh, metallic finish on the dark gray, and then more of just a uh, matte cloth finish. Uh, on the light gray portion of the costume. Uh, typically I don't really like to add a whole lot of blood and gore, but he specifically said that he wanted the Wolverine to look as if he'd just finished fighting about 20 guys and to you know, have his claws dripping blood, so I added that. After sending some pictures, he asked uh, to add some more spray so we've got some uh, spatter going up his arms. I've got a little bit on his chest. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting here, but uh, I'm of the school of thought that less is more. If you go too heavy with blood, I think sometimes it kind of looks amateurish. He also asked to uh, make the Wolverine really hairy looking. Um, Body hair is a really difficult thing to uh, add to a sculpt to show three-dimensionally because hair is so fine. So typically a sculptor doesn't add hair. What I did was uh, used a real fine marker and then you have to seal over top of that and then also a pretty heavy five o'clock shadow as well which you can see there. Again, I apologize for the cell phone video camera, but that's all I've got right now. So um, There's a couple gaps. If I spin it here, you can see because of the way I have to ship it, I'm not attaching those gloves 100%. But, uh, yeah, that's the way it turned out. Just do a quick spin here so you can kind of see the details. Gave a wood grain finish on the base. Oh, there was some vines or something that were sculpted onto that base that uh, the client asked to have taken off as well. So now it's just the rocks. So. See if I can get in close on his. No, it can't really focus any better on the face, but. So there you have it a uh, stealth Wolverine right after the battle. Kind of bloodied up a little bit.